these are all funguses that grow and we could find in the forest. One I want to talk about today and actually do a review of is chaga, which is a fungus that grows on usually birch trees. And uh, I have some here from Buddha teas that I'm going to try for the first time. So that's what this video is about. It's something I came across in a search on the internet and I encourage you to do a search too. There's a lot of information out there about it and you have to evaluate what you want as far as it goes. But as you can see, there's a lot of claims about the benefits of chaga. One thing should be said about the chaga, um, what, what you're really looking at there is the mycelium running on the tree. And that is like a, a parasitic um, relationship with the birch tree. So, you know, a cut or something in the bark, it's going to get in there and it's going to start growing. And it probably can grow, I read, like between 10 to 80 years. And uh, there's actually, you know, we're used to, when it comes to mushrooms, the, the mushrooms actually the fruit of the mycelium, where in this case here, what we're harvesting is actually the mycelium. And uh, with that, it does a uh, fruit, uh, chaga does fruit, but when it does, it's usually the tree is dead or a section of the tree is dead, which sets up for it to get what it needs in order to become active to produce the fruiting body of the mycelium, which again, happens to be the mushroom. But in this case, since it happens underneath of the bark, it's rarely ever seen. It's just like whitish mushroom that actually fruits. So, but in this case, that's not what we're doing. We're actually harvesting the mycelium and taking the benefits of the, of the uh, mycelium as it be and have done for centuries. So just wanted to make that point about chaga. It is a mushroom. It's, it's parasitic to the birch tree. And what we're harvesting is just that, the mycelium, not the actual mushroom. So, that being said, let's make a drink of some of this mycelium here. And looking at the box, um, it says Chaga Tea, the diamond of the forest, Buddha Teas. As the chaga mushroom makes its home in the birch forest of the northern hemisphere. Its appearance resembles a black mishap growth of bark and is easily distinguished from the trees on which it grows. Chaga has been used in Russia and Siberia to make an herbal tea since the 16th century. Uniquely unlike many herbs, this rare mushroom can only be gathered from the wild. Oh, when the monitor there, there's a photo of uh, what chaga looks like once you harvest it from the birch tree and then uh, cut it in half, the inside of it. It has a golden color to it, which is a very distinguishing uh, aspect about when you go to try to forage for it out in the wild. Okay. Okay, now back to drinking some. All right. <laughs> Let's get this box open. There's 18 tea bags in here, or chaga bags, I should say. And, uh, they're individually packaged. So, let's tear here. And I heated up some water pretty hot. And one of the things I read in seeping this isn't 
isn't like seeping, you know, tea that we're used to, like green tea, for instance, because it's not a leaf. It's actually mycelium, which is, even though it's small particles, it's a little chunky. And it takes a little time for the water to get into it and get it to seep out what we want it to into the water for us to drink. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this seep for a good while. And then uh, maybe half an hour or so, if I take out that bag and then see what happens. So we'll be back in a little bit. All right, it's been seeping for some time now. I guess I will I'll probably save this and use it again. See maybe if I can get two cups out of it. So with that, I got this to set it on. Put it in some container. Also want to add some honey. This is uh, some local honey, just raw honey. It's very little left. I hope I can get some out of here. It's just uh, uh, someone local here has several beehives and kind of where we get it from. So it's just raw honey. taste. I read where drinking this people just almost immediately know that can feel that they are breathing better makes them more alert gives them more energy right from the get-go kind of all the things that I could use <laughs> and uh, it also has long-term effects the longer you use it better health again he probably gets back to the antioxidants and, and dealing with the free radicals and stuff and it's just a good all-around good medicinal mushroom to use I would think in one's um, dietary routine and that's why I want to do a review of it and I would tell hey I would highly recommend anybody to find a source of chaga tea, either go out in the woods and find yourself a birch tree with some growing on it, or go to one of your local um, health food stores or natural food stores. I got this at Sony Walls um, up in Stoverstown, and uh, which they have this and a couple other brands available if you want to check those out too. I kind of got this one because I kind of like the box. So anyway. That's my review of Chaga Tea by Buddha Teas. It's, I think it's pretty good. I'm going to have to wait a while and just see how, how it makes me feel and I'll let you know. <laughs> uh, later. <laughs> 